There's Serenade of the Seas and the Disney Dream. So as you can see here, there is a lot of construction happening here in Nassau. Here are the three ships. We've got Serenade of the Seas, the Disney Dream, and the Carnival Legend that just poured it in. There goes Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> a lot of construction going on, which is good. That means in a, in a year or two, it'll be very different experience. It's a little sneak peek as to some of the construction. You'll see a bunch of beautiful shops coming up. All right, we're heading to the poor marketplace. Take a piece of the Bahamas home with you. Lots of excursion offers going on, tours. Uh, if you haven't booked anything and you want to book something, I'm sure you will find something here. They have the swimming with the pigs, snorkeling. So today we're heading to the Nassau Pirate Museum. All right, so so far we've had a really fun time just walking into a bunch of the stores. This is the David Yurman. We walked into Diamonds International. Here's Breitling. Uh, lots of fun, beautiful shops to walk through. So if you're a shopper, this is a very nice place to do that. We got Christmas decorations here in John Bull. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let's check this out. Beautiful. All right, friends, you're looking for the corner of George and Bay Street right there. When you bump into that Main Street ice cream parlor, you're going to take a left and there is the Pirate Museum. I'm going to say it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the ship, but it's a lovely walk. Tons of locals you can talk to, chat it up, have a good time, grab a drink if you want. We stopped into a Starbucks to grab some to hydrate. Pirates of Nassau Museum and Gift Shop. The entrance looks like it's this way. Looks like it's right next to Smuggler's Eatery. Nice little place to sit and relax and hang out. Grab a drink when you're done with the museum, but I'll tell you something. So far experience here in Nassau has been fantastic. Definitely get off that ship, explore. Check out the beautiful Bahamian culture. Here are the prices for the museum. $13.20 for adults, $6.60 for a child, four to 17. Those are the hours as well. What, what did you do? Nothing. Guilty of being mean to your sister. Say. Guilty of being mean to your sister. Oh. Look at you, you. you look fantastic. What's uh, your name? My name is Captain King. Captain, Captain King? King. Yeah. Yeah. Between 16 the golden age of piracy, and you enjoy your time. All right, we just entered into the year 1716 here at the Pirate Museum. Loft above the pirate quartermaster prepares the ship for the next sailing. Ahoy, the pirate ship, the revenge. Board the revenge if you dare and see how pirates lived and died. True or false? Go ahead and read it, Alicia. The typical pirate ship with a two mastic with a black hole. True or false? True. I think it is. Are you sure? No, I'm not, but let's see. False. false. Although some famous pirate captains commanded three masted ships, the majority of pirates in the West Indies favored the 
fast single masted sloop or gaff kata. <laughs> Some scared him. That's why you shouldn't wander off. Where? Let's see. On land or on the revenge ship? Tending to the wounds. Oh my god. Oh. Tending to the wounds. I'm sure they were very strict. But when they were too slow or didn't go as fast as they wanted, they were punished. That sounded very painful, right, Liana? Yeah. Oh. So painful. All right, up the stairs we go. There's Mary Reed. There's Wild Annie Bonnie. Spin at the end. Let's see. True, it was very common for pirates and sailors to keep parrots as pets or to bring them home from the topics. Tropics as exotic souvenirs. On the 2nd, 1720, there is that body on the left with Mary Reed, raising the dish around the contents of the prison. Pirate Museum's gift shop, which is got a shirt, and I'll show you that later. And uh, it's fun, but it's this little outside area. We got some of the cannons. Oh, that's cool. Museum. Come visit Robbie. Ah. Ah. <laughs>